Hi people, this is a fantastic story about how America's smallest jet manufacturer got it right and how Boeing, the world's largest commercial jet manufacturer, got it wrong. The Cirrus jet is part of the 737 MAX story. And I'd like to thank Isabel Goya from Plane and Pilot magazine for bringing this great story to our attention. Cirrus is the United States smallest jet airplane manufacturer. They make this SF-50 Vision Jet. The Vision Jet can be flown by a single pilot and has a sophisticated airplane envelope Protection System, or EPS. The Electronic Stability and Protection System is actually very similar to the Boeing MCAS system. It will intervene if the pilot goes out of the envelope, then the airplane can safely fly in. Obviously, the Cirrus jet is tiny compared with Boeing's MAX 8 series. But here is the similarity. Both Cirrus and Boeing had an angle of attack or AOA instrument malfunction. While Boeing insisted for months that there was no problem, but it was privately investigating how to fix the issue. In contrast, Cirrus not only admitted that they had an angle of attack issue, but brought it to the attention of the FAA and then worked with the agency to take the appropriate steps. So the relationship between Cirrus and the FAA is really a welcome development, especially on the heels of the FAA's mismanagement of the Boeing 737 MAX series fiasco. The FAA, as you doubtless know, failed to ground the planes for months after the Lion Air tragedy. It was only after revealing media stories that the US government insisted the FAA ground the Boeing MAX series in the US. Just to be clear, both aircraft use angle of attack sensors and both seem to have an issue with them, but they are made by different manufacturers. Isabel Boyer from Plane and Pilot wrote, one of the big reasons that Boeing didn't include specific mention of the MCAS system in their training manuals or require simulator difference training was that providing the training costs money that Boeing's customers would rather not spend. In the case of the Cirrus jet with a similar problem, that training was in place. In the case of the Cirrus jet automation malfunction, where the angle of attack sensor wrongly triggered the stick shaker, the Cirrus pilots were able to recover without threat to the safety of the flight. On the Vision jet, you just press and hold the big red autopilot disconnect button 
on the stick, and magically you're flying the plane by hand. In my humble opinion, that's how the 737 MAX series should also have been designed. Being open and being honest has also worked in Cirrus's favor. Every single one of its vision jets has been granted FAA permission to ferry the aircraft to a nearby authorized maintenance facility to have the angle of attack sensor work done while Boeing's MAX 8s are on the ground. And remember, the truth is out there.